see you in Loch Main. You're late again. Where are they? No idea. Tell me or I'll... Don't make me laugh. You wouldn't let me out of your mind anyway. A soothsayer now. Kill him! For the king! Certainly, Fence. It seems I've met my match. You've won the battle, but lost the war. The city's in my hands. And you're in mine. For the good of the Temerian crown, Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything. If needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. Bernard Lurido had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people, and I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. even if both are murderers and rapists. Vernon Roach, Temerian Cockerel of the Blue Stripes, what will you do with me? You know perfectly well. You won't kill me. You wouldn't dare. I'm the King of Kedwin and soon of Lawmark. The North won't survive without me. I've won. Do you know why I rushed into battle? Do you? I had to resolve it before Loch Muin. He's playing for time. Let's kill him. Wait. Tell us, King. What's going to happen in Loch Muin? A new world order. New borders. Everything will change. All the kings and princes of the North will be there. Do you know the old saying? He who controls the Pontar Valley controls the North. Have the mages been invited? It's their idea. They want to revive the Council and Conclave. They want to regain their rights and privileges, their place in society. What tripe. I've outsmarted them all. I'll be the one to dictate treaties. I'll show them who's ruler. You had my men killed. Of course I had them killed. What do you do with spies in Temeria? Give them awards? None of those hanged were part of the plot. Only me. You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Your villainy knows no bounds. 
What do you call villainy? The fact that I've made Ketwin stronger than ever? You fool, I'm the last ruler of the North whom Nilfgaard must respect, and it will. Witcher, reason with him. Are murder and rape royal virtues of the New Order too? Every wench dreams of being ploughed by a king. And Vess? Did she complain to you? I thought she liked it. She squeaked like an unoiled hinge. Let's get out of here, Vernon. Have you lost your mind? You wanted to kill a king, not a cockroach. I won't forgive him. Want to be like those murderers you chase because of this son of a bitch? Kill Henselt, and you'll aid the Kingslayer's agenda. Let's go. Why should we spare him? He won't rest until he finds us. Kill me, and my people will find you. He'll need to look long and hard. Let's get out of here before I change my mind. You've got balls, Vernon. You proved it. Not when I needed them most. You had a choice. Kill the defenseless Henselt, or battle yourself. You chose the tougher opponent, and won. I may regret that to the end of my days. Only we know what happened here. Well, and Henselt. The sooner we forget it, the better. I'll erase it from my memory. Sheila teleported herself to Loch Muin. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. Sheila to Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But Regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains. The remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the arts and letters. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. 